are really celebrating a success story. If I look back five years ago when we started with only two persons, one twinning pair, I never ever would imagine that now after five years we have 130 alumni from more than 20 different countries. And so I would say this is really a success story and I'm overwhelmed to, to meet all these people again here in Hong Kong. Yeah, I think this is a wonderful network. We have lots of Chinese NGOs and lots of European NGOs and we all work on different sectors and now because now it's a more globalized world, China plays a more important role uh, internationally. I think it's important for Chinese NGO to understand what kind of challenges are, are waiting for us and maybe that's something we can learn from our European partners. Like especially in my case when it's a lot about also about human rights and about workers' rights, I would say the twinning is my best option to get in touch with my colleagues who do who know all the information, who know all the background of the production which mainly happens in China. So I need this I need this information and when I'm here I have a totally different quality of this information than I would have if I would not be here. So for me and for my organization this twinning is extremely valuable. <laughs> 退可受, Hip-hop was, was a culture which was new, uh, it was exciting and it connected many different people from many different places. Dickett, my um, twin partner, he hosted um, the program um, in Guangzhou and um, now it's five years later and there's a city cooperation between Guangzhou and Wiesbaden and um, there was already 10 exchanges and I think this is kind of, um, of a sustainable effect and I could list you many many um, more things um, it was quite effective The thing that I really surprised me and what I experienced was taking my work into a completely different environment made me reframe my practice so I found that I was learning more about what I do than I had done in the previous 10 years maybe in, in London. Uh, what really excited me was discovering that, uh, that children wherever you go in the world are creative and have a natural desire to express themselves and that's no different whether you're working in Harare, London, Changsha or Beijing. Yeah, I, I'm proud of the fact that five years later we're still running projects in China uh, and, and loving it. I have the passion uh, to make our country build uh, a contribution about this program and introduce it to um, more and more people. Uh, and then uh, I want to uh, share um, what we know uh, or what we achieve in this program uh, and I wish they can last uh, the next five years or next ten years or hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I achieved to have a Chinese daughter, this is the first thing, but I think everything starts on the personal relationship, because when you respect your partner and when you do your best in order to provide all the opportunities for your partner, I think everything can grow from this. So for us, it's really very important that we met each other, but I also want to see this growing, so I want to see Jilu develop her potential because I see a lot of potential in her and uh, that's why I trust in this program because I hope that one day she will be an experienced non-formal education on form theater and all Guangzhou and maybe China will be mentioning her as an expert. <laughs> yeah. This is really one of our main topics to be able to um, yeah, to promote change makers in the way. People who really want to actively change the societies and contribute to the societies that they are living in. And uh, yeah, we believe that the best way to do so basically is via peer-to-peer -peer learning. Uh, basically is via creating networks. For us it's easy as a foundation to shape the network, to, to be there and to give this opportunity. And then uh, let's see what's developing out of it.
goals we, we set to ourselves, to, to the program and the team, have been to build sustainable partnerships between organizations. And if I just have this rate of 60% of ongoing cooperation between uh, the twinners, I think it's a fairly good rate. So uh, yes, I, I, I would say we, we fulfilled the goals and uh, we are looking forward to continue like this.